Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be going over how to do a mixed unit word problem. So we're going to be, I'm going to be doing number 19. So it says, the recipe calls for one quart and two and one fourth cup of water per 100 portions. How much water do you need to make 29 portions of gravy? So the first thing you want to do when it comes to these mixed units is convert this mixed unit into a single unit. So we're, so we're gonna end up having to convert these cups into quarts first before we move on. So you got one quart and two and one fourth cup. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of this decimal, I mean uh, fraction, and we have to convert it into a decimal. So 1 divided by 4 equals 0.25, so 2.25 cups. So right now we are... We're here, we're on cups and we're trying to convert this cups into quarts. So we have to go all the way up here. So when, when, whenever we're moving up, we have to divide. So in order to convert this into the next unit up, which is pints, we have to divide the 2.25 cups by your two cups. So 2.25 divided by two. So that equals 1.13. The reason for that is because we had to round up. We have to round it, round it up because of the five. So we have to round to the hundredths place. So if this third number is five or above, we have to round up, which I just did. If it's four or below, we just leave it like that. So this is 1.13. Pints. So we're at pints right here. But we're still trying to get it to quarts. So we got one more step. So we have to divide the 1.13 pints by your two pints right here in order to convert it into quarts. So 1.13. Divided by two so you end up getting point five seven because we had to round up because of this third number so that is point five seven quarts so now that we got it to the same unit we just add these two together so now you got one point five seven quarts so this is just the beginning to your to your problem. So erase this. So you got 1.57 quarts. <clears throat> So one quart and two and one fourth cup is the same thing as 1.57 quarts. So we have to convert it into a single unit first before we move on because then we have to multiply it by your working factor. So it says, how much water do you need to make 29 portions of gravy? So to get our working factor, we have to divide our portions to prepare by 100. So our portions to prepare in this case is your 29 portions of gravy and you divide it by 100, which is 0.29. So 0.29 is your working factor. So now you have to multiply your working factor by your quartz. So you know how many, uh, how much water you need to make the the twenty nine portions of gravy. So 
1.52 times your 0.29. Oh my, 1.57 times 0.29. So that equals 0.46 quarts. Again, since this third number is a five, we have to round this up. We're rounding to the hundredths place, so 0.46 quarts is not your final answer because we can't leave it as a decimal. So we have to convert, make it into its lowest unit. So right now we're at quarts and we have to go down to its lowest unit if possible, which is teaspoons. So we got 0.46 quarts. We don't have a whole number, so we don't have, we have nothing to block. So this, when we're going back down, we have to multiply by the unit under it. So we're at quarts right now, so we have to multiply by two pints. So. 0.4 quarts times 2 pints that e that's going to equal 0.92 pints so then we got to keep going down so we're going down from pints to cups. So now we have to multiply this by two cups. So 0.92 times your two cups, which is 1.84. So now you got 1.84 cups. We're still not at its lowest unit. So whenever you have a whole number, you gotta remember to block it off. So we're gonna block off our whole numbers. So now we have to continue going down. So we're gonna multiply this 0 0.2 cup, I mean 0 0.4 cups by the unit under it, which is going to be your 16 tablespoons. So times 16 TBSP. So you gotta make sure you label every single thing. So we, since we blocked off our whole number, we only multiply the what the remainder, which is this 0.8. I mean 0.4, which is a decimal. So 0.84 times 16 equals 13.44. 13. Point four four tablespoons. So again, we got that whole number, so we have to block it off. And we have to keep on going down to our lowest unit, which is teaspoons. So we multiply the remainder by your what's under, which is three teaspoons. So point Four, four times three equals 1.32 teaspoons. So again, we got that whole number, so we have to block it off. So now that we are at our lowest unit, that's when you have to go to your decimal or fraction chart in order to determine where um what that decimal falls in between so 0 0.32 falls in between this one right here one fourth so 0 0.32 is the same thing as one fourth teaspoon so now we add all these two all these together so add all your blocked numbers and this. So you, your final answer ends up being one cup, 
13 tablespoons and one and a fourth teaspoon. So this is your final answer for this. So it's pretty much saying with the one quart and two and a one fourth cup of water, you can make the hundred portions of gravy. And then with your one cup and 13 tablespoon and one and one fourth teaspoon, you can make your 29 portions of gravy that you wanted.